guys, Angela here with Swiss Army Life. We're out here at Ozark Extreme Outdoors in Branson, Missouri today taking a look at the 2016 Vibe Seaghost 130. We'll be showing you all the upgrades they've done to it versus the 2015, going over how to connect your foot controlled steering and how to assemble your rudder. Uh, looking forward to showing you exactly how much boat you can get for their price and still can't believe it myself that it's only $8.99. So here we go. All right, we're starting at the front of the boat here with um, some features that it has. Got an upgrade on the handle here, so we have a hard handle and then we're getting your hooks stuck in there. We also have a bow paddle stow. Uh, this nice little bungee cord makes it easy to set your paddle down and not lose it. I will also be putting my bow under there. It would be nice to be able to set my bow on the bow and have it just lipped under there real quick so that it doesn't fall off. Um, I'm going to go back to the storage compartment here, which I was impressed with on the 2015 as well. It has very easy access to it. Comes with the bag. It's a very large compartment. Removable, of course. And those are the upgrades on the front. And of course, you have your drain plug here. All right, moving on to the center console upgrades. Uh, same great console, same great lid with your um, hog trough measurements on top of it. Got your quick lease clasps here. And they have removed the, um, they used to have molded compartments here where hardly, I mean, all the things I wanted to put in there, like a water bottle and such, they couldn't fit in between the compartments with the lid shutting. So those have been removed now. And we also have a guideline here. Uh, it's hard to see. Let me focus in. So there's an, a guideline about an inch down all the way around the inside of this compartment. And that is for you to be able to cut all of this out and have an in-hole rod storage compartment. Uh, so that's pretty cool that you can be able to cut that and have your guideline already ready for you. They've also added a seal around the edge of the lid so it makes it nice and tight, keeps the water out, and uh, that is your features for the console. One of the biggest changes we have with the Seaghost this year is a dual position seat. We've got the bungee retaining straps here that just clip down below. This is the upper position and we can move it down into the lower position here. This is made of a nylon mesh over a padded um, backing and it is great on the lumbar support, easy to clean and breathable for cooling and drying. We've also got the 36 inch series tackle storage on both sides. Both sides do have straps to bungee in to keep your tackle from falling out as well. And we have a dual paddle holder on both sides, here and here. And that's that for that section. Looking at the rudder system now, we have um, upgraded to a single cable rudder deploy system. So um, this right now, the rudder is down. And what's really nice about this is if you just pick up right here, it's spring loaded and comes right back up. I mean, literally pulls up with one finger. Now it also has um, locking mechanisms inside of it. If I can focus on that. So that when you pull it, it doesn't go backwards as you pull the rudder down. So I'm gonna lift this up and let the rudder come up naturally again. Okay, so as you pull it, it doesn't go backwards. And then it's a one finger lift. And you can see that rudder back there. Some other upgrades here. We have a larger rear cargo now. It is eight inches, same style. Uh, it does come with the bag and your warranty paperwork. So just a bigger one of those and some rear pole holders here. One of my favorite features is this recessed rail, the T-bar rail. And I like this for two reasons. One, you can put more items on this because it's now reinforced. It's not just a bracket screwed down into your plastic. 
so you've got that reinforcement but the other my favorite reason is for when loading on my teardrop camper now the old one used to be all plastic and then screwed on top so the rail stuck up a little bit and every time I loaded my kayak on the camper I put the nose on there and I grabbed the back of the boat and I slide it up onto the roof rack so when I did that this rail would catch and it would tear up my foam and I'd have to replace it all the time. So having this be smooth is just been a dream to load that up there. And they also added the rear recessed rails in the back. And these are adjustable with wing nuts. So you can move these bungees around to your liking to fit your gear. And then we also have the raised logo here. All right, now we're gonna run through how to put your rudder in, how to install and it's going to come with a bunch of bubble wrap paper, so obviously remove all of that. Make sure you have the little clip, and then we're going to, I'm gonna to try to do this one-handed. We're just gonna put that right in the hole there. And then take your clip, and we're gonna put it through and flip it down. And then, Come back over here. Since I've already set this part up earlier, I'm just going to lift this and let our rudder come back down. Okay, and now I'm going to go run through how to set up these, your tow controlled pedals. <clears throat> So we're going to come back down here and I've already sat in the kayak and made sure that these pedals were in the notches for my leg length. And then we want to make sure that these are straight up and down, not forward. So make sure both are straight up and down and that the slack right here is picked up. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to pick up all this slack by pulling it to the rear, but not pulling it forward. So you want them straight up and down like that. So I'm going to come back here. And we're going to loop this. It's hard to do left-handed. Through that hole. And I'm going to look forward and make sure that pedal is not coming forward when I'm pulling it. Because I just want that slack picked up. See how it's coming forward? But you just want it straight up and down. Make sure that slack's tight. And then go ahead and tie that off back here and um, you can keep the extra or you can tie it together down here in case you think you'll need it later. So we'll just run this other one through here real quick. And then I've only got one hand so I'm not going to actually tie these off but uh, I might. We'll see. We'll do some temporary so you can see how it steers. Come on now. All right, there you go. All right, so I've got those temporarily done. So we're gonna drop the rudder, which is just lifting this. Oh, actually we're gonna pull the rudder, sorry. And that stayed. And then we'll be able to go up here and as you kick it with your toes, see how that other one goes forwards? And that's how you want it for your steering. And then you can take a look back here. Just like that. And now we'll just do our one finger lift here. Another feature that's almost as awesome as the dual position seat is the transducer mount ready capability. That's right, we have a plate under here that you can put your transducer in and keeps it nice and flush and safe. Get you to finding the fish and keeping your gear not hanging all over the place too much even though I'm gonna probably mount tons of stuff on my rails but we can put the transducer in there now and keep it out of the way and protect it at the least. 
Another new feature that we have here is the nylon rudder. It is no longer metal. I know I bent my 2015 Sea Ghost just, I mean, I wasn't even doing anything too crazy, and I would bend my rudder and have to bend it back straight. So that's not going to happen with your nylon rudder. And also, when I'm loading it, sometimes I make contact with the ground right here, and that would get pretty chewed up on the metal one. And it became, even the black came off of it and was showing silver, like chewed up metal. So if you whack your head on this when you're walking under the camper, it could be pretty ugly. So we do have the nylon and that's going to be a lot longer lasting and durable. And we have new colors so you can get this in orange camo, hunter camo, blue camo, or this is the smoke camo. So we've got a little bit more choices on the color of your pirate ship here. And for $8.99 you really can't beat getting this much boat and the features and you're pretty much geared up to go fishing right when you unpack it. So that is the overview of the 2016 Vibe Sea Ghost and looking forward to getting out on the water.